the concept of the piece encapsulates all of the elements of cricket. You have the stumps, the globe, the world arena is engraved on the top. I started in 65, so near on 50 years. It's been my life. <laughs> and a passion too. My wife says, I don't think you'll ever retire fully. I always love to go down to the workshop and tackle something new. Yes. You must be able to draw. As you can see, everything we do, before you can cut it, it has to be drawn. It's all done freehand first, drawn, then scribed, and then cut. So drawing skills are essential. The better drawer you are, the better engraver you'll be. I have my trusty globe here. Uh, which is imperative for getting all the uh, latitude and longitude lines to start with. And then after that is marked out, we can scribe it with a fine scribing point to get everything accurate. I can then follow around the countries with a felt tip pen. It's a day's work, just marking this out before I do any cutting at all. I've got a selection of cutters here that um, I use for different uh, projects. Some of these handles uh, are probably 200 years old, maybe. You can pick a cutter up and it just won't feel correct. It's in you, it's in your hands. Yeah. Years and years of concentrating and it just, it just, you pick up a cutter and you can just do it. I'm concentrating all the time, yes, yeah, so I can't be distracted really, because uh, one false move and uh, you're going to mess the whole thing up. I've been doing this so long now that any job I can tackle without too many nerves. If I'm whistling at the bench, I know I'm doing it okay.